Welcome back to the Firefly Family Gaming Channel. My name is Anthony. This is Serena. And we got the two dogs down there. Hopefully they won't bump the camera or <laughs> jump on the table or, <laughs> or start, you know, whatever. Water, whatever dogs do, drinking water, scratching, whatever, whatever. You know, Our but, dogs do it all. Golly. Uh, today, uh, this video is, we went down to our, our, our local retro video game store where we like to pick up some stuff and uh, we had a check up on our switch so we have a switch update and we don't have a switch and we'll talk about that <coughs> after we're, let's get started <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Today's video, we got some pickups and a couple of cool things and um, I'm just going to straighten to this. Sure, because I'd like to have some. We are uh, on the same night, that, or the same day, we went to our local retro video game store. Uh, we went out to dinner, went to Cracker Barrel, and uh, we found this. It's pretty cool. Uh, Super Mario. Milk chocolate hearts. Man. It says we make a great team. We do. Go team. Go team. All right. <clears throat> um, this is pretty cool. I mean, even after the candy's gone. and In this house? I mean, it sounds time. like someone's already into it. Um, it would be cool for the, for the Mario shelf, which is going to be hard because. But look know. at this. <clears throat> I mean, the outside is cool. Oh yeah, little Look Yoshi, little Yoshi, the Yoshi. Toad, Toad Yoshi. Is the bag that was holding the little chocolate little hearts. hearts. So, it's pretty cool. What's your favorite Valentine's candy? Uh, conversation hearts. It just so <laughs> I just happen to have some right here. There's actually two jars of conversation hearts inside the game room. I just like them. I'm give a me, sweet pea. Give, give me one. Um, let's see. <laughs> it says cutie pie. I thought it said bite me. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually get those ones. Oh, yeah. Feel the teeth breaking. Right I know. Now. Well, my favorite candy is basically like some Butterfinger and anything Reese's cups. You can even put Reese's in anything hearts, eggs. Christmas, Christmas trees, ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns. I love them. <laughs> you guys keep candy like in your game room? Like munch it on stuff? Or? We also have, it's not just all candy. Yeah. We also have a, a whole tote over there. Not tote, but a little <laughs> container of just snacks. 30, 35 gallon tote of <laughs> snacks. <yeah. laughs> we also have a container over there that has um, snacks in it. Like <clears throat> peanut butter crackers and... Just stuff like that. Fun stripes. <laughs> Fun stripes. I had some earlier, <laughs> just because I remember. So, um, what did you pick up at the game store? I got The Hobbit. The Hobbit. On GameCube. I've been eyeballing this one for a while. <clears throat> I should have bought it two months ago when it was $5. Yeah. No, it was yeah, I've seen that, uh, like, our game show that we go to, he, um, yeah. He stays on top of the game prices. Yeah, here lately he has been. There's a couple times, like. We've caught him slipping. Like, you know, I, you know, I found, like, an NES game, and, yeah, and he says, um, he's like, yeah, those are going for, like, ten bucks. I'm like, okay, that works, and he pulls it out of the case, and it's got, like, a five dollar sticker. He's like, well, it's five dollars today, you know, so. Yeah. That's cool. So, I really should have got this a couple weeks, a couple months ago, but. That's okay, I got it now. Um, it's complete. Another, another GameCube game. Yep. And oh, it comes oh yeah. with a <clears throat> Hobbit Bilbo Baggins trading card. That's cool. Which is kind of cool. So. That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. So I got that. I've been eyeballing this one though for a, a long time. So. Cool. I like Lord of the Rings. And then. 
This is another one of those, like, kind of... Yeah, we were looking at this one on, like, eBay and Macari, yeah. and, and he actually had one copy that was sitting there. So, it's, um... This is a classic Japanese side-scrolling action transformed. The Mighty Number no. 9. It, For the Wii U. It, it, it reminds me of Mega Man, something terrible. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh man, poster? Poster? Yep, there's a poster. Oh, there's a book. Yeah. Uh, Shows you all the numbers inside here. See, anyone that's played Mega Man, you know all the different Mega Mans. Fire. Pyro. Ice. You know, Hold on, water. Water, come on. You know. mm -hmm. We don't know too much about this game. If anybody no. knows, I mean, is but this... But it just looked know? pretty cool. And it's one that you haven't, I haven't seen any thing about I haven't you know haven't really heard anything about it so we picked it up it was like 10 bucks yeah. we picked it up I haven't even looked to see if that was a good deal or not honestly and truthfully but yes Anthony there is a poster I can get it without breaking it and well, there's this side oh why do they double sided it makes you decide which one you want and then there's this side so that's cool. I like posters. I guess this will have to be one of those on the Wii U gameplay. Yes, yes. In yes. our series on the Wii U. Check it out, people. Yes, you can. Before you ask me, you can play with the Pro, pro controller. She's already, she's already on top of it. I am. She was ready. I was just about to say it. But, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought it was, I mean... It, oh, it says that the text is in American and Japanese. The voices are in English and Japanese also. That's good, because I don't understand or read <laughs> Japanese. Um, I've got Crystal Chronicles over here for the GameCube. So I picked up the strategy guide for it. Nice. Listen, I'm all for... Uh, uh, what is it? I don't know. When you play over and over and over and over again. Repetitive? Um, I can't remember the name. Over and over and over again? Yeah. Okay. Let's just say that. <laughs> I'm all for, like, trudging through these games. I know that's not the word. But trudging through these games. I, I, get, I, I will do it all day long. I will. But then there will come a point where I get... <laughs> super frustrated well, i think that's almost everybody and i will either look up the walkthrough on um youtube or i will come over here to my handy dandy magazine rack which is now full and i have to buy another one and pull out one of these and look to see where i'm at because i'm all for you know doing it over and over until i just get to that point where I want to scream. Yeah, it seems and hurt party. Serena was talking to the the, the, the store owner, and uh, and you were talking about a different strategy guide, and he, I, I heard part of the conversation. He I wanted um, he had the anthology strategy guide that had the um, usually I love these guys I really do, but like with the Final Fantasies and. With like the Mario's and all and the all of them actually. If so it has, if it has a poster in it, oh yeah, it's they'll take cool. the posters out. <clears throat> Which that's fine. I'm I'm I I really don't mind. You know, I'm usually I like the artwork inside the books. That's one reason why I get the books that I get because I like the artwork inside the books. Um, but he had the anthology strategy guide. And I picked it up and this one. And I set them up there. And usually what I do is I usually just make a pile, make a pile. On, the, on the thing. And then we go from there. So I had both of them on there. And uh, he goes, okay, so this one is, I think it was like 10 bucks, uh, I think. And then the anthology one was 45. That's what I heard. Anthony immediately <laughs> picked up the anthology one and went, we'll think about that one. <laughs> and set it over to the side. I said, well, Which meant, I, I had picked up something else. One. I was eyeballing something else. And before I even put it on the counter, and I was like, well, 
she got the book before I did, so I was like, I'll just let her have the book, and I'll just, I won't get this next, you know, I'll get it another time, you know, so. I didn't get the anthology book. She still didn't get the book because. Because he got something else. Something else. Which is fine, because, um, it kind of makes out in another video, so it's okay. So, I, uh, actually, we went back to, to update, check up on our Switch, like, what's, what's the, what's the word on our Switch, and, uh. Uh, come to find out, like our switch has actually been there since November. November, and uh... oh, I just seen something. I just seen something. No, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, he, uh, the guy that they don't repair everything in house. They have like a they have a guy third party guy. He comes in and does everything. Blah blah blah. So he's he's had the switch for a while, <clears throat> and, uh, and every time I go in there, hey, what's the story with the switch? The last three times it's been the same thing. He's yeah, working on he's it. He's still working on it, and this time I'm like, okay, you know, I hate to be rude to these guys because they're super nice guys, and they give us pretty good little deals, and um, and I'm just about had enough. I was like, okay. If he's not gonna fix it, that's cool. Just give me the switch back, so we can get it somewhere, so we can get this thing fixed. You know. Well, he they didn't tell us before that the guy had a uh, side business by Christmas, where you know you ever seen like those people that come around and they'll they'll hang up all the Christmas lights at your house, then they come back and take everything down. Well, I guess he did that here in town and did like it went really well, and uh, so he that's all he's been doing. But now, you know, after everything's cool with Christmas, everything's done, he just had back surgery. I'm just like, oh. so how can you be upset with that, you know? And you're like, oh, come on. Uh, I can be patient. Anthony, on the other hand. I just want the switch back. Cannot there's, be there, there's patient. Something, there's something something over here that I want to I, I wanna play. I mean, but now I, I really want this. I really want my switch. Man. Well, now that we got our daughter that other switch, so that switch here is ours so uh, our other daughter's already trying well, to claim it trying to eyeball it we're just gonna have to get her her own because she works yeah she can buy her own so anyway so I, I i picked up a couple um uh nes black label games that i've been uh two of these were were actually on the pile last time and i and when we said this is our total and i'm like oh no mm -hmm. so i was like i put some stuff back you know and another game that I was actually eyeballing on Macari, and I just haven't seen it, and it actually looks kind of fun. So I found the uh, NES Black Label Volleyball. It's five screw. Yep. And uh, so is this one. <clears throat> uh, the Black Label NES Wrecking Crew. Mario. That looks like Mario. And... Uh, yeah, Super Mario Brothers without Duck Hunt. So, another variant. Uh, <laughs> um, they actually, he had, he still has like the couple Donkey Kongs. Like, I'm still trying to go for the, you know, the, the collection. And I want to get the original 17 by far. But, you know, I, you know, obviously you want to get the original 30, yes, 32, I can't remember. But, um, I always, uh. I always make a, um, I have a, a, a little sheet on my on my phone, so every time I, I get one, I'm like, click, got that one. That doesn't matter because he still buys them again. Yeah, <laughs> but I haven't actually bought any Black Label games doubles, so. You did too. No, which one? Solemn. Slow, solemn. Oh, Slalom. Slalom. Yeah, my bad. Okay, so I take that back, I did. So, um, we were, was there just kind of, I mean, our stack wasn't really that big. We were just kind of just eyeballing, just hanging around, talking with them. And he's got a bunch of, like, box, you know. You know empty box cons. Empty, empty cons. box stuff. You know, you know, consoles, yes, thank you. And um, every once in a while, I'd be like, hey, how much is this? How much is that? Cause, he's I mean, got collector's boxes and amiibos. Because, because that's one other thing I like to start getting is, you know, box stuff. It doesn't really have to be anything in the box. It's just the box stuff is cool, and uh, you know we just we just don't have any. And um, so I was kind of eyeballing and looking around. And I was like, "Huh, what's that over there?" And then he goes, 
He's like, oh, that's pretty cool. He is from the Nintendo Switch. Came out a while back. Sonic Mania. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry. Oh, no, it's going off screen. It's got a ring right on it. It's because it's Sonic. No, the ring light. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sonic Mania uh, for the Switch, the collector's edition. And, um, and you know, we were talking about it, and, you know, we're, you know, you know, he's, and I just thought it was the empty box, but it was actually, you know, everything was complete, you know? It's all in there. Everything's in there. And it actually came with the download for the Sonic Mania game. These cool things. Just a, you know. Steel card. Steel card. You know? I don't know. Probably can't see. So Sonic Mania. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is really cool here. So it's like the you know old school Genesis cartridge, but boom. A boom. The ring. The golden ring. And uh yeah. I don't know if you can really see it. I'll put another yeah. different shot on. It's got one of the rings. And uh so he showed me all this. I'm like, oh yeah, it's pretty cool. So obviously it comes this has been in like other people's videos and a lot of people have them. But Anthony just got his and he's excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, so he pulls the, the statue out, and I'm like, man, that thing is freaking cool. I was like, is that an actual like Sega Genesis? I was like, no, it's not. It's just for, you know, just for a stand, and you know, just so cool. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, possibly, you know, you know. And then he went, and I went, it's going home with it's us. Sold, <laughs> sold, sold, sold. So I put so. my game. Strategy guide, back. <laughs> but there was something before this, you know, that I'd seen. In the... oh. One more time for you guys. <laughs> so, you know, I forget what else I was eyeballing. I think it was actually another one of those NES Black Oval games, you know. But I knew it was going to be like 45, 50 bucks, you know. But, um, yeah, so we got the Sega, Sega Mania Sonic... You know, collector's edition. It's pretty cool. We don't know. It is pretty cool. I and, will admit. And he actually, I looked it up online, and and they're going for you know eighty to one hundred dollars, and we got it for like forty bucks. So you know, you know, all I wanted was the box, and and they got a cool statue out of it. You know, so you know, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, just showing different stuff on the back of the box. You can't play with a power controller. Yeah, that's okay. Send it back. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, there you go. It's you back. have to get a Switch Pro controller. Oh, oh no, we have we, one. We have a Mario. Some. We have. Not that one. That oh. one's just a shell. It's we this one. This one? This one. This one. That one. Oh, it's missing the back. What? Jackson. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's around here somewhere. So that's what we picked up. Um, it was a fun night hanging out, hanging out the game, the old game store. And then we took our kids to dinner. Cracker Barrel, and that's where we found Mario Heart thing. And um, yeah, I it was don't know. a nice night. Yeah. So what do you guys think about the old Sonic? Is it a keeper, or should we? Just... <laughs> it's definitely a keeper now. Yeah, uh -huh. well, you never know. Oh, this is true. You could. It could be gone. I could sell it. It could already be sold. You don't know it. You don't. She don't care. If, I know better. Yeah, I know this. I, I, I like I like the thing, but the the ring is just. As know. soon as it said Sega, I was just like, okay, it's sold. Here's my debit card. Yeah. <laughs> Golly, peoples. Uh, Doesn't take much to amuse Anthony when it comes to games. Little things, little things, but uh, you know. We got a, the only bad thing is it's just like our game room is very small. Where are we gonna put this thing? Our game room is very small unless yeah. you expand into the next room. No, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what to do with it. So it's small. I don't know. Hit oh, it. nothing else works. Oh. oh. You gotta love that. You could just do it forever and ever. But, uh, 
I wonder why that the power light does it. Yeah, is it like motion sensor? Mm. Hmm. We seen one video of someone's game room tour, and they had this one. Yeah. And he had another Sonic statue, but the like the feet were like. Zzz. I was like, that was awesome. <laughs> He probably will wind up finding that one and getting it. <laughs> but I don't know. Let us know what you guys think of our uh, our pickups and our Sonic, and you know, do we get a good deal on some of these games? And you know, do you I like? Think we did. Do you like conversation hurts? Yeah. I, I don't think so. I think everybody doesn't like them. I'm I'm one of those strange people that I like them. We're all strange. Yeah, I know. People are strange. When you're a stranger. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.